from the Gebobosep and surrounds Namibia, Brandberg Quartz, uh, in this case predominantly clear quartz formation. Now you would have had a larger crystal here, which was sitting on. So I think the, the obvious form of display. Now note that I'm a little bit structured in my display. Um, some may go for the abstract. For instance, you'll always notice that I put a quartz crystal with a point facing up like this, which, uh, which would make more sense. First of all, let's go to the matrix. Now this matrix is pretty interesting. I don't know, I think we may be looking at some pre-night there. Typically, these guys sit on a basalt, on a basalt, so associations would be basalt minerals like the epidote, the prenite, the calcite. In this case, it appears that we, we're looking at, on the, on the front section, predominantly just a, a lovely clear quartz. Now, Brandberg quartz is, is uh, I always say this, best enjoyed when held in hand. Uh, it's like the, the quartz from the, the Swiss Alps. It's uh, the, the quartz from the Swiss Alps is, is water, water clear. Uh, yet the Brandberg quartzes have usually little vugs, little pockets trapped inside which give them an extra bit of internal fire. It's as if they're alive. Of course, all the way from the Gebobosep and surrounds in Namibia, I don't see any color here. Uh, typically, we have undertones of amethyst and smoky in these guys. Size-wise, not super large, but uh, quite, quite an aesthetic little guy. Um, let's have a look across here. So let's look at a cross-section like this. So if you're interested in the Brandberg quartzes, I have an offer. You are well advised to watch the videos because the, the still pictures are still, let's say, under construction. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm rather busy, so I don't have time to learn and experiment on how to get it 100% right, but I keep trying. All the way from Namibia, Brandberg Quartz. There may be a little bit of hematite trapped inside here as well. Some may say lepidocrosite. Now, lepidocrosite um, or mica would, would not reflect uh, when moved around uh, uh, different shades of color, whereas the hematite does it. So it's a no-brainer for me. Inclusions in quartz from the Gebobosep, we're looking at hematite versus lepidocrosite.